All right, so it's not your typical movie to get Oscar buzz, yet it still managed, though, to bring an attitude full of action to that big screen. That's right. Movie reviewer Matt Perone explains why this movie had some making a mad dash at an Oscar nod. Whether it's parting is such sweet sorrow or thank goodness he's done, this is it. We have reached the final day of the Oscars of Review, day eight, and our final Best Picture nominee. It's been an interesting week and a half. We've done all kinds of different genres. We've alternated between fact and fiction every day leading up to this, our last fictional movie. And it's probably the most out there of all of them. So without any further delay, here's my take on the post-apocalyptic, futuristic, action-adventure flick, Mad Max Fury Road. Our movie begins with Max, played by Tom Hardy. He is a survivor in the apocalyptic future where wars are fought for gasoline and water. He is haunted by his lost family and is taken captive by a group of war boys. And when it is discovered he has type O positive blood, he becomes a universal donor. Meanwhile, the leader of the group, Immerton Joe, who controls all resources for the masses, sends a group out on a routine supply run. The group is led by Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron. Betrayal is soon realized and it is discovered that Furiosa has taken all of Joe's wives attempting to set them free. The war boys are sent out to recover the wives and kill Furiosa. Max is taken along so he can keep the blood flowing to the depleted warriors. After the original encounter between groups, Max is able to free himself and join Furiosa on her quest to free the women and return to her homeland. As the movie progresses, our senses become overloaded with nonstop action. The two rebels on the run pulling out all stops in order to save their small group and perhaps gain redemption and put their nightmares behind them. Several factions step in to put an end to the troop, but as many new enemies are made, unlikely new allies are formed as well. The question of what actually defines both freedom and home comes into play, and in a world in which people have so little, it is learned that priorities must adapt. One thing is for certain, once the action starts, there is no break from it, and the edge of your seat is all that is needed. Once again, this is a movie I already reviewed, so I felt the need to go back and look to see what I had to say about it. Now, my parents, my girlfriend, anyone who knows me may roll their eyes at this statement, but I am not afraid to admit when I was wrong. I looked at that first review and I did really enjoy the movie. I said that it was visually stunning, action-packed, and a great escape from reality. Where I may have misspoke was when I said that don't expect a deep movie with developing characters and an expanding plot line. Basically, I referred to it as an action-packed two-hour car chase. But the critics have spoken and they say that it deserves the nomination. So I did a little research, I watched it again, and lo and behold, there are some other things going on beneath the surface. I also found it crazy that it's the background and the landscape that CGI'd. All the stunts are actually real. Charlize Theron is fantastic and steals the show, but there was one thing I said in that last review that people emailed me about and gave me praise for. It was regarding Tom Hardy. What was it? And you'd think it would be a tough task to fill the role invented and popularized by Mel Gibson. But if anyone can do it, I would think it's the guy who played Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Seriously, for the first half of the movie that he's stuck in a mask, I kept expecting to hear him say, Oh, you've merely adapted to the wasteland. I was born in it. Yep, that's it. Wow, I was tan back then. Did you see that? Well, this has been your last overview. I hope it's been a nice little uh, roadmap towards the Oscars. I hope you tune in Sunday, see who gets the statue for yourself. If you're feeling cocky, feel free to email me who you think is going to win. This has been your Oscars overview. Back to you. Well, thanks, Matt. And you know, costume design was also one of the uh, Oscar nods that it got, as yeah. well as Best Picture. So, we'll looks see. like it's worth it.